Hey folks, welcome back to my absolute favourite DZ game in the whole entire world. When we left off, we got into plot exposition and found ourselves a gold nugget. So let's continue onwards into this amazing new world. Also, that bat is a jerk. So, presently, we found ourselves on the bank of the River Styx. How ironic, that's the very thing I said I didn't want to do. Curse you Richards and so on. Waiting around reveals this fairy shuttling back and forth. We can't jump onto it because, well, we'd keep rolling and fall off. But what we can do is we have to keep walking with it. It's one of those weird platforms that kicks out from underneath us if we don't. Um, well, no choice but to press on. I will take your gold as payment for your crossing, says the ferryman. Screw you, says the CPC gamer. I saw that gold fair in Squeenix. Huh. Nope, well, looks like he stole it. That's a lot of rich creamery butter. Let's have a word with him about this. I don't wish it was faster. Did you see the keeping up we had to do when we used it to get across? And not once does he mention the gold that we took. Uh, I guess we'll have to win it off him in a game of Cluedo later on. To the right, we find the Enchanted Forest. We also have this little furry friend, dancing away in all of its two-frame glory. Party hard! So this is Pogi the Fluffle. He's a creature that Codemasters thought would be cuter than he actually is. His existence was retconned into the Yoke Folk history when the Dizzy games got ported onto a couple of other consoles like the NES. We need to catch him, and we have a crate to do so. So let's set it down. And the Fluffle couldn't be more disinterested. Brilliant. You know, I gotta be honest, I kinda hate it when people use that sort of stupid, stupid phrasing. Oh, it's not entirely undisinteresting. Shut up and say it's fun, like the rest of us English speakers. What we need to do... See if I can position myself right. Yes. No, I can't. Basically, we need to go up here. There we go. Now, I can't make that jump. And the torch is in the way so that if I put in some sort of cheat, like a moon jump, I would still burn to death and start off where I am here. Luckily, we have ourselves a bridge building kit. So let's go ahead and use it. Dizzy, did you just make an 80s reference? I think you just made an 80s reference. You get a gold star. The reason for our heading this way is quite contrived. Also, the screen is having a bit of a seizure there. Sorry about that. Basically, we need to go as high as we can, so we can jump off through the sky, across these clouds, jump off the clouds, into the castle grounds. And you know what? I have never successfully made this landing. I've played this game ever since it came out, and usually I land in the thorn bushes over there, which launches you out and onto the square that I'm currently stood on. You know, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Anyway, we don't need to be here for too long. We just need to hop down, grab the golden harp, which in no way looks like the Guinness logo. Nope. Not that is what it is. And with that in hand, we head back out. Now, this is one of the few times when the game actually does rely on backtracking, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's kind of short. We need to go into the Enchanted Forest and continue upwards. I don't know why the screen is so seizurific in this game. You've seen the other games, right? And the other games usually behave themselves, but this one... I don't know. Basically, we need to go back up to the trees, to this screen, the upmost branches. Here, we need to make a ninja leap of faith. And what do you know? Yet more cloud walking. We, we do this to reach heaven, apparently. Uh, I guess we did just die when we uh, crossed the river Styx just now. Oh. 
Folks, this has been the last Let's Play Dizzy Prince of the Oak Folk. Tune in tomorrow for a review of another delightful Amsoft game. Seems to be going so well this season. So until next time, goodbye.